If you want to use eSIM but your Android device doesn't support it, then this video is for you. Today, I'm going to talk about Smart Multi-SIM and how it can turn your old eSIM incompatible Android device into an eSIM compatible phone. So before we move on, let me give you a brief background about the Smart Multi-SIM and its companion Android app. Smart Multi-SIM is a physical SIM card that works as an eSIM adapter on Android devices version 9 and above. It lets you store and manage up to 5 local as well as international eSIMs on your Android device using the Smart Multi-SIM app. The Smart Multi-SIM can also be used as a standalone SIM on any device, so it doesn't matter if it's a an Android or if it's an iOS, you can still use the SIM card as a standalone SIM card. Now don't forget that this multi-SIM works in conjunction with the smart multi-SIM app. It's an Android app that you can download from the Play Store. And at the time of recording of this video, the latest version of the multi-SIM app is 1.9.0. To get Smart's multi-SIM, you can head on to your favorite online shop like Shopee, Smart Store, and other online outlets that sells SIM cards. Feel free to check the link in the description to order yours using my link. I ordered mine from the Smart Store and paid 119 and this is paid via cash on delivery. And since I'm from the Mindanao region, the shipment took about 5 days, which I think is very reasonable. So once your smart multi-SIM arrives, what you need to do is to insert the SIM card to your Android phone's SIM slot. And because the SIM card can also be used as a standalone SIM, make sure to register this number associated to the physical SIM card. The next thing that you need to do is to download and install the Smart Multi-SIM app from the Google Play Store. Once you complete the installation of the app, you can now start adding your eSIMs. To add an eSIM, all you need to do is to open the Smart Multi-SIM app.
tap add eSIM and to install your eSIM you can choose either an activation code or a QR code now this eSIM that I'm using right here is actually an eSIM that I bought from SM so what I have here is a QR code so I'll be installing the SIM card or the eSIM using the QR code and of course just to make sure that you are aware make sure that you keep the QR code in a safe place so that if for some reason you would like to transfer this SIM or this number you can still do so by simply uninstalling this eSIM from your old phone and then transferring or reinstalling it to the new phone using the QR code and that's it you now have an eSIM ready to use once you have activated your eSIM don't forget to register this eSIM by simply going to the smart registration page which you can find in the description of this video I know you have a lot of questions so be sure to subscribe because I'll be putting out another video on the most common questions or the frequently asked questions about smart multi-SIM and eSIM in general. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.